agenda. Is on their agenda, but and unless I can see definitely, I don't believe it is. I think we can say words, but how true is that? You well, know, but that letter is pretty striking to you. You know, Mr. Cameron, along with Mr. Clegg, they wrote you a letter in December saying Stephen's legacy was to change fundamentally and forever the way we think about race in this country. We want to reiterate to you the government's commitment to equal treatment and equal opportunity. Well, if race is no, if you look at um, some of the equality bill, race is not one of the words that they use. They use diversity, they use around the black, around the black, disability, which is what is true. But race itself and how you treat the community, your black community, I don't feel that they are really taking it seriously. Let me bring it back to, to you and your life and, and your family's life in South London. I'm just intrigued to know when you look around perhaps even look at your own grandchildren whom you've got now. Do you really think that not much has changed for the better? I wouldn't say that because a lot has changed. I wouldn't say that you know, things hasn't changed. A lot of things has changed. But um, I think my concern is how much things have been rolled back. Because if we're not careful, all the work and all the recommendation that comes out of Macpherson report, if you speak to a lot of members of the public, especially within the black community, and you've asked them what has changed for you, where things have moved on to, they will tell you that things are still very difficult, not much has changed for them. Partly it's about self-confidence, isn't it? Giving ethnic minority communities in London and across the country uh, the confidence to use the channels that are available that you've had to learn to use over 20 years but others could too. I mean do you, do you see ways in which you can help others in your community gain the confidence? Um, yes, cause I, and I try to do it because when people write to me, I will suggest to them what it is I think they should do in order to address the issue that they're raising with me. Because at the end of the day, there's nothing much I personally can do around individuals. I can say in my experiences of what I've done. And you have your charitable trust and you've poured a lot of resources, along with some government funding, into helping disadvantaged minority kids get a leg up, particularly into the profession that your own son Stephen wanted to get into, architecture. And that works really well because, you know, you know, we can say we have a track record and we, and we can show what we have done over the past um, 12 years, how our young people, how much they progress. Because so we've got, what, two of them who are sort of their own, um, uh, their own practices. There are what, four or five of them who are architects now who have um, qualified. So in that respect, we...